Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Tens of thousands of fans were rallied this weekend for the ever-popular Watkins Glen International. Big Fox reporter Rachel Madej was there this weekend and has a recap of the action. I, I think the, the, the biggest thing that strikes you, and I think you guys may take it for granted, is the, the epic proportions of the sport. I mean, you've got uh, thousands upon thousands of people that come in and make it a weekend, and it, the place turns into a, a, its own little mini city. Each year, the largest sporting event in New York State continues to be the Watkins Glen International. Sold out for the fourth consecutive year in a row, over 100,000 fans came out this weekend to see the one-of-a-kind road course. I think what makes this road course unique is just how fast it is. It's a very fast road course. Uh, there's a lot of speed here. Um, there's a lot of technical areas. There's a lot of time to be gained through those technical areas, but also with the amount of speed that you carry here, any dip in that speed is a big time loss. And while fans predicted one of NASCAR's big three would take home the win, particularly returning champ Martin Truex Jr., who was seeking his third consecutive road course victory. You want to be known as a guy that can win anywhere. Last year, you know, we were lucky enough to win here. We had a great run and, and a great weekend. Um, you know, there was a couple guys that were that were as fast as we were, but we were able to put it all together. So. Truex Jr. actually missed a turn on the final lap, and Kyle Busch's car ran out of fuel, allowing Chase Elliott, son of NASCAR legend Bill Elliott, to take the lead. At just 22 years old, Elliott became the second youngest driver to win a race this season. Just, uh, just so thankful for the opportunity to be here. I have mean, had, had the chances over and over that I've had. I mean, I've had more than a couple to win a couple of these things. And, uh, I've gone our way or whatever it was, so. Another exciting weekend at the Glen. History was made this weekend. Chase Elliott was crowned the winner, taking home his first ever win at a NASCAR Cup Series. In Watkins Glen, I'm Rachel Madej with Big Fox News. Elliott's win comes just days after his father announced he'd be returning for a race. Both father and son had eight consecutive runner-up finishes before scoring their first career wins. It was another hot one today with temperatures reaching into the 90s. A heat advisory was in effect until this evening with the National Weather Service urging people to check up on elderly neighbors and relatives. Meteorologist Kim Walker lets us know just how long this extreme heat will stick around. That's next in our Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. We did have that heat advisory in effect for today, and that's because temperatures soared into the 90s, and given the humidity, it felt like the upper 90s and into the 100s right now. Uh, it is dropping, but we are seeing some clouds move in and also some rain, which will help to cool things down for tomorrow. Temperatures, though, did climb to around 93 degrees in Elmira and Binghamton. It was a little bit cooler at around 88 degrees in Corning. It was 92 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be another warm day. However, it's going to be cooler than today. Clouds will start to increase and we do have the possibility of storms, especially in the afternoon. Our rain chances will continue through your Wednesday. Then sunshine returns. Mild conditions will also return and it won't be quite as humid on your Thursday, but then we're going to see rain chances return as we make our way into the weekend. So for tomorrow, there is a boundary that will continue to move to the east. So the thunderstorms will advance to the east as well, right over our region. So so 
again, we do have chances of rain, especially in the afternoon. Temperatures tonight will be dropping down into the 60s. 68 degrees for the overnight low in Elmira, 69 degrees in Watkins Glen, 67 degrees in Corning, partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow we are expecting those temperatures to be back into uh, the upper 80s. 85 degrees for Elmira, Tawanda around 86 degrees, Watkins Glen around 86 degrees as well. And then as we make our way into the afternoon, we do have the possibility of a few showers and a few thunderstorms and our chances of rain will continue into your Wednesday clearing out as we make our way to Thursday. Lots of sunshine returning. It won't be quite as humid. Temperatures will be seasonable a high around 84 degrees 82 for your Friday. We have another system coming through so our chances of rain will start to return as we make our way toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Temperatures will be slightly cooler. We're looking at highs in the low 80s and then dropping down into the 70s as we make our way into your Monday as another cold front comes through. Overnight lows will also drop as well for the overnight low on Tuesday we're around 69 degrees and then we should be in the lower 60s over the weekend and into early next week. So not a bad week out there at all. No temperatures will be quite pleasant, but we do have rain chances to deal with. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Kim. All right. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.